Hello, great people. Welcome to today's class. Look at the question before us here. The question reads, without calculator, simplify the cube root of 2 plus the square root of 5 under it, all over 1 plus the square root of 5. So here we have a mixture of two radicals. We have the cube root as a radical, and we have the square root as a radical. So how do you simplify this without the use of the calculator? Now let's go into today's challenge. Now, we take our solution first things first here. Now, from this, we have to do a simple substitution here, or we equate the whole of this expression here to uh, a variable. Okay, so we can say here, let let let's take p. Let p be equal to the cube root of two plus the square root of five. Everything all over one plus our square root of five. Is it right? Good. Now, because here we are having um cube root we want to take the cube of both sides of the equation in other words let's cube this and at the same time we cube this right now according to the um a law of sword we can rewrite this expression in this form so it is going to give us the cube root of r2 plus the square root of 5 all raised to power 3 then all over 1 plus Square root of 5 or raised to power 3. This has not changed any to right. Good. So what we do next here now, it is easy. This we go with this. So we are now left with our 2 plus the square root of 5 all over bracket 1 plus the square root of 5 or raised to power 3. Now look at the denominator here now. We want to use the binomial expansion to expand this, okay? But getting the coefficient, we want to bring out the coefficient of each of the terms here using the Pascal diagram. Now, from Pascal um, triangle diagram, we know that any quantity to the power of zero is going to give us here one. Then the next one will give us what? One, one. And the next will give us one, then two. Then here we have one. The next will give us one. Year three, year three, and year one. So we're looking at the coefficient to this third power here, right? So if we are to expand this using this, it's going to give us two plus the square root of r five all over. Now the first term here, the coefficient is one. So and look at our expression here. We have one here. So this is going to give us one, okay, to the power of three. Mind you, this second term will be raised to the power of zero, which is automatically one, right? Then plus, look at the coefficient of the second term here, which is three. So we're going to have here three times our one is going to be one raised to the power two. Then times our second term is going to be square root of five all raised to the power of one, right? Then take the third term, which is plus. The coefficient is 3. 3 times 1, the power here will decrease to 1, which is just 1, times the, our second term, which is um, root 5, will give us here root 5, all raised to the power of 2, right? Good. Then we go to the last term, which is here 1, so we have here um, a plus, rather, so we have here plus. Our 1 will now be raised to the power of what? 0. So when we leave the system, when one leaves the system, we are left with our five, root five, which is this, and it will be raised to the power of three. Okay, so we have everything here like this. Okay, all right. So let's simplify this down easily. So we go again. So with this, we have the top here remains two plus the square root of five yeah then let's come to this one to the power of three we give us one then one to the power of two we give us one so three times one times root five this will give us plus three root five right then we come to this this power we go with this radical so we are left with three times one times five which is what plus 15 right good then we come to this. Now, if you expand this, 
is going to give us 5 root 5, right? Yes, this will give us 5 root 5 because this is going to give us root 5 times root 5 times root 5. And root 5 times root 5 will give us 5. So times another root 5 will give us root 5. So this is going to give us plus our 5 root 5. Easy. So let's go again. It's going to give us 2 plus our root 5 up here all over. We can add this to this to give us here 16 plus 3 root 5 plus 5 root 5 will give us 8 root 5. Easy. So what we do next here now, yeah, we rationalize the denominator. Remember? So here we say rationalize, rationalize denominator. E denominator. Okay? So you rationalize the denominator, we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of these denominators. And what is the conjugate of the denominator? It's going to give us 16 minus 8 root 5. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we do this, it's going to give us 2 plus root 5 in bracket times our 16, then minus 8 root 5. Close bracket. Everything all over. Yeah, we do same thing, which is 16 plus 8 root 5. Then multiply by its conjugate, which is your 6 root of 5. Close bracket. Easy. Now let's open gradually. 2 times 16, that will give us 32. Then 2 times minus 8 root 5, this will give us minus 16 root 5. Then we have 16 root 5. Five rather times 16 will give us plus uh, 16 root 5 and minus sorry plus root 5 times minus 8 root 5 this will give us minus 8 uh, times root 5 all to the power of 2 everything all over now because we are multiplied this by it's all conjugate. So what happened? You can use the simple manipulation by taking 16 to the power of 2, then minus our 8 root 5 all to the power of 2. Remember this? If we open up everything here, we're still going to come up with this. Easy, right? Good. So this is equal to. So look at this. We're having minus 16 root 5 plus 16 root 5. So these two leaves the system. And again, this power we go with this radical. So we are now left with 8 times 5, which is 40. So up here we're going to have 32 minus 40. Right? All over. The square of 16 will give us 2, 5, 6. So we have here 2, 5, 6 minus. Again, this power goes with this radical. Then what happened, mind you, this power is also affecting this 8 here. And so 8 to the power of 2 will give us 64 times our what? 5 here. So we can do our subtraction here easy. So we have here 32 minus 40 will give us minus 8. So we have here minus 8 all over 256 minus. Yeah, we're going to have our multiplication. Let's multiply this out. This will give us. Um, 2, 2, 5, 6, minus this time this will give us 20, so we have 0 carry 1, this time this 30 plus the uh, 2 you carry rather, so it gives us 32. So let's continue on this side to get the final answer. So from here, we want to subtract this from this, and if we do this, this is going to give us um, minus 6, 4. Yeah, so we're going to have, mind you, we have our P all down this way, right? So we have our p to the power of 3 is equal to, here we're going to have minus 8 all of our minus 64. So we have minus 64. We know the minus we go with this minus Yeah. So we're not left with what? Our 8 here will give us 1. 8 here will give us a 8, right? So we have 1 all of our 8. But here we have p to the power of 3. We want to get our p, right? So we cube both sides of the equation. All right, so take the cube root, rather, 
Yeah, so if you take the cube root of both sides, this, this will leave. So we're now left with P is equal to, this is same thing as the cube root of one all over the cube root of eight. This will give us one, right? So if we have this to be one, and the cube root of eight is two. So therefore, we cannot come here and say this expression, which is the cube root of our two, the plus square root of five under it, all over one plus um, the square root of five is equal to one all over two. All right. So this gives us our final answer. So, right, so this marks the end of this math challenge. If you love something from this video tutorial, do not forget to give the video a thumbs up. Yeah, we are in a marathon race of 100 videos in a month. So, watch out for more videos because we'll be releasing at least three videos every day. Yeah, this is all I like must TV. If you're stumbling on our channel for the very first time, and if you've not subscribed, subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video. Thank you for being there for us. We love you beyond dangers. Jake loves you so much and all of us at Online Mass TV loves you dearly. Bye. Until we come your way next time.